Today's video is called, What to Do If Trump and the Dems Lay You Off. And really this video is about how quick and simple and easy it is to get started as a rideshare driver to offset, uh, you know, things that happen like getting laid off, you know, uh, unstable work. And stick around because at the end of the video I'll share with you what I think is the number one reason to have rideshare driving in your back pocket. So everybody, this is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And in 2015, I was living the good life, living in Thailand. I was happy. I was coaching uh, on the internet. And the unexpected happened. I got real sick. I needed to come back to America and have a, an operation. And I needed to do something. And that's how I got started with rideshare driving. Many people now are feeling the same kind of pain of the unexpected happening. And they're out of work. So we're going to start with number one is how do you get started? In order to get started, you need to be a driver in good standing. So what exactly does that mean? You have to meet the minimum age to drive in your city. Uh, you have to have at least one year of licensed driving experience in the U.S. and three years if you're under the age of 23. You have to have a valid U.S. driver's license. Uh, use an eligible four-door vehicle, and I'll cover that in just a second. You need to provide proof of residency in your city, state, or province. Proof of vehicle insurance, all right? Um, you'll provide a driver profile photo and you'll have to pass a background check. Now, what are the car requirements? So the car requirements are, you need a car that's 15 years old or newer. So it's now 2019, so a car that's uh, 2004 or newer. Has to have four doors. Uh, be in good condition with no cosmetic damage, no commercial branding. It uh, doesn't look like a taxi, right? No bright yellow, orange, uh, green, pink, etc. Um, no aftermarket or a manufacturer paint jobs and no decals. And you're going to have to pass a short uh, vehicle inspection administered by either Uber or Lyft or both if you decide to go with both. Now, um, in the uh, notes below the video, there'll be a couple of links uh, that you can click. Um, in order to get this process started, it'll take you right to the web, right to the Uber and Lyft website. So number two, I want to talk to you about sign up bonuses and sign up minimum guaranteed revenue. So this is a great thing about starting with Uber and Lyft is they, they're looking for, for drivers. They want you as a driver. So you can either get a sign up bonus. Uh, so in this example, you'll see Lyft is offering a $200 sign up bonus. So if you do 100 rides in your first 90 days, you're just going to get a flat 200 extra dollars once you hit that 100th ride. Or what Uber is doing is they are offering a $775 minimum guarantee in your first 100 rides. So if you do 100 rides and let's say you only made $500, Uber is going to pay you an additional $275 as a bonus to get to that 775 figure. Number three, I just want to go over some, some of the basics. First one is you want to, of course, drive when it's busy. So driving in the morning during rush hour and in the afternoon during rush hour, those are the two best times to be driving. Second, go where the people are. So in the morning, you want to go where people live and don't necessarily drive a lot. People in condos, people in apartments who are going to need drives to their offices downtown. Then in the afternoon, you're going to want to go where those people are working so that you can drive them home. Third, you want to decide are you going to be a night driver, a day driver, or both. I personally don't like driving drunk people home at night, so I am a strictly a day driver. Um, and if that's what you want to be, that's great. So don't think that if you're going to drive and make money, you have to drive at night. You absolutely can make good money driving during the day. The next thing I want to say is keep it simple. Remember, all we're doing is picking somebody up, greeting them with a smile, and driving them from point A to point B. It's a nice relaxed drive. You don't have to drive fast. You can just look at your GPS, let it guide you, and drop them off, say have a great day. That's all we're doing. Keep it simple. So the fourth thing I want to cover is uh, what do we earn as uh, rideshare drivers? You know, how do they figure out how much you're going to get paid for each of your rides? There are five factors that go in determining how much we're going to get paid. First is a base rate. Uh, so that's a minimum amount you're going to get paid uh, for each ride that you take. Second is you're going to get paid a certain amount of money per mile, and you're going to get paid a certain amount of money per minute. The other things, the other two things that can go into your uh, pay for a specific ride is uh, what's called prime time or surge. So when there's a lot of demand, uh, both Uber and Lyft will 
add a multiplier effect or, a, or an extra amount of money that you can make on a ride. Um, so it's called prime time with Lyft and it's called surge with Uber. And then you could also get tips. Uh, both Uber and Lyft uh, allow the passenger to give you a tip uh, in the app or sometimes someone will just give you some money in, in terms of cash. So to, this is an example. <clears throat> this was a great trip I took uh, earlier this week. Uh, I went from downtown San Francisco to a, a restaurant near the airport. I, in the, my earnings, so this was a 15 mile ride and it took 39 minutes and that earned me $25.30. This had a prime time value of 100%, so that means I got like a double, double the ride. So I got another $25, and then I also got a tip of $10. So that was a total of $60 for that ride. Now number five is how do we get paid? So there's really two ways you can get paid. You can get paid instantly, what they call instant pay or express pay. So once you've made at least $5, you can have those funds put immediately into your bank account. Pretty cool. Um, I like to cash out at the end of every single day. So in this example, you can see I was able to cash out for the day $217.72, and that went directly into my uh, bank account. The other way that we can get paid is just let Uber and Lyft pay us weekly. Uh, they pay us on either Tuesday or Wednesday of the following week. And that money, again, just goes right into your bank account. Number six is, is it safe to be an Uber driver? We get asked that question quite a bit, and I want to tell you that yes, it is very safe for a couple of reasons. First, we don't carry any money. So it's not like the old taxi, taxi cabs where you got to have glass between you and the passenger. And second, we have a rating system. So it's from one star to five stars. And um, since everybody wants to be using the service and drivers want to keep driving, uh, everyone's working hard to be as nice as possible so that we keep our ratings high because if our ratings get too low we can get kicked off the system and we've lost our, our way to make money or the passenger has lost a way to get around town. And finally number seven, what's the number one reason I say to be a rideshare driver is you get freedom and flexibility. You can drive whenever you want, wherever you want. You want to start working, you turn on the app, you're done, turn off the app. You don't have a boss telling you what to do. And as it turns out today, which I'm recording this on January 12th, I'm taking a one week trip to Paris, right? I can just say, you know what? I decided a few weeks ago I wanted to go to Paris and now I'm going. So these are the kind of things that you can do when you're own, your, your own boss. And being a rideshare driver gives you that kind of freedom and flexibility. And certainly if you're in any kind of an unstable work environment, uh, it's great to have this as a backup so you don't, you don't lose any of your revenue. So everybody, this is Jay Crater. I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you are interested in becoming an Uber and Lyft driver, look below the video. There'll be links, okay? And you can just click and get, get the process started. If you are going to become a driver or you are a driver and you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, by all means subscribe. We put out two to three videos a week all around the topic of being a driver in this gig economy. So go ahead and sign up. I want to thank you for watching again. Have a great day. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Be safe out there.